So now, the last thing we have is the handle, which is done by two Phillips bits or Phillips screws. Um, once again, what you're going to notice before I undo this, is there's two plastics, one on each side, and then one plastic thing in the middle. You want all three of those still on when you put it in between the door. So if you drop it, find it. Um, so it's nice to have this floor cleaned, unlike I have right now. Um, so you're going to unscrew it, screw the bottom, screwdriver handy. I'm trying to keep it from going everywhere, so that's why I try to make sure. Um, so the sides of the screws are going to go from the inside, which also another note on that, what it would be is the unfinished side. It's going to go on the inside, the finish is going on the outside. So what I would encourage is not to worry about the bottom. Uh, seal as much. If it stays on great, if it doesn't, no big deal. Same thing with the screw. What we're going to do is open that up. Okay, so the screws are just hanging in there. They can come in and out pretty easily. Um, they just slide in and out like that, and you might drop the plastic piece. Um, that's okay. It's going to happen, I bet. If not, good job. But otherwise, I drop them probably three or four times each job because you're trying to work with what you get. Okay, so often I'll actually leave this screw in the bottom one um, kind of in. But we want that plastic piece in there. We want it to be in that hole. We don't, you don't want it popping out or anything like that. Um, so we got that other plastic piece on this also. You want it on both sides, remember that. So what I do to start this off is I go ahead and put that there. I hold my finger on the Phillips bit on the inside and I just line this one up and I turn. I didn't start doing this um, and it was a pain to do. So after that, we should have still this bit down here. And I'm going to pick up my seal that fell, just like I was saying before, not a big deal if you drop it. Um, the biggest thing is just make sure that white plastic is standing there. And here's another thing, you don't want to go too far in with the screw right here. Because if you go too far in with the screw, um, it's going to be tough to line this one up. Which I may have already done. Nope, okay, we're good. So this is when I start using the screw. I'm gonna line that one up. We wanna line the rubber pieces up on the inside. Okay, we can get a little tight. There we go. Same with this. I'm telling you, if you try to do a filter the whole time and try to line them up perfectly, you're gonna get very frustrated really quick, especially if you're by yourself. So if you just start from the top and just twist it on, it'll save you a little bit of time and frustration. Um, yeah, so there we go. There we go. All right, and that's it. Okay, like I was saying before, um, this is when I like to keep this tag. I'll throw it on here if it is for a franchisee and it is not one of my stores, obviously. Um, but yeah, and then, so after that, we're going to make sure the door closes solid. If it does not, so if you have a leak up here and like that, we may have to adjust the brackets. This one's actually pretty solid. Um, I don't think I have to really adjust anything on it. Um, sometimes you'll notice these inserts 
will be kind of rubbing. If that's the case, and it's not letting it shut all the way, you might have to adjust these to where it pulls it out a little more from the sidewall. So pull both of them to where it's not so far that way. And that'll kind of relieve that tension against the plastic pieces on the seal. Other than that, that is your install for the Impulse Sauna for sunlighting. Not too bad, it's pretty simple, other than the weight of it and just, it's usually better due to people.